Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day, girl. These gossips are so juicy, and I have some sweet, sweet tea coming from Charleston, meaning Southern Charm, okay, that we definitely need to discuss. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this oh, mess. Hey, yo, meal. No. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, before we start, if you haven't watched my exclusive interview with Laura Jensen, Margaret Joseph from the Real Housewife of New Jersey, uh, BFF, who she betrayed, is now out there my interview she spilled all the tea go and watch it after you finish this video because believe me you do not want to miss all the tea that was spilled about margaret melissa jackie Teresa, the whole thing okay it was very entertaining she was very open she was ready to tell her truth and now it is out there so go and check that out okay so now let's talk about southern charm because um, Miss Naomi Olindo, girl, she's doing the most. Now, we, you probably already saw the trailer for the next episode that said that she was hooking up, or she hooked up with uh, Whitney after the wedding, the dog wedding. Well, girl, the whole thing is, I mean, we're going to, we're going to be seeing that, I think. I mean, let's see what I can bring you before we talk about the real tea. Uh, she said that uh, I did kiss Whitney. Naomi confirmed on a preview. Oh, my God. What? Leave a response. She says, yeah, it was fun. Uh, do you like each other? Do you think he looked hot yesterday? But before she could respond, Austin was seeing a confession asking why, 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 why? Blah, blah, blah. Was it only a makeout? Was it more? Leva asked to what Naomi respond. He spent the night here. And according to Leva, she can't believe that her friend was spooning with Whitney and didn't fucking tell her about it. As the scene continued, Austin Pryor further asking Naomi, blah, blah, blah. They were like talking about shit. And then they talk about how Patricia would love Naomi if she used to was the right woman for Whitney and all of that. Like that's all in the trailer of the next uh, episode of Southern Charm. But that's not the funny part. Guys, you know that I have been bringing you the tea from Southern Charm for a very long time now. And I don't know if you remember this, but we got a blind item months ago i want to say like at least two months ago we have to uh, look for that video because i don't even remember exactly what it says but it says something that this southern bell who left the show for to follow dick to new york and then came back something like that and they were saying that she was um sucking some d to get back into the show with the executive producer and the ex, you know, and that there was some kind of like weird situation, threesome situation. I have no idea. I mean, do you guys remember that? Because we talked about that months ago. Like if you are following me, like you know that we talked about that months ago and now we have confirmation. We literally have confirmation that Naomi hooked up with Whitney. I think that that's so, uh, how we say this? I mean, yes, Whitney is a big part of the show because he has been there from the beginning. But Whitney is literally one of the producers of this show. I think it's the executive producer or something like that. He's involved in big part of this show. Why is she hooking up with him? And now, magically, she is back into the show. We already know that she hooked up with Craig. 
and that was the first part of the blind item you know oh she hooked up with the ex so and i was like oh please craig don't don't come back to her because this girl is insane she doesn't deserve you uh, you are so much better than her you you are you deserve so much better than her you know and now he's with Paige, which i don't dislike her but um, i don't think she's en enough for craig either but anyways uh, i was like the police done done uh take naomi back and now they hook up in vegas twice okay that happened but now she is hooking up with whitney i mean she was desperate to get back into southern charm okay she went to new york looking for and after that dick you know only for that dick to cheat on her repeatedly and then she have to return run back to southern charm and you know beg for her job well i'm guessing you know she was begging on her knees because what other way are you gonna beg right and now we have this kind of like weird confirmation because you know that you can film all you want for a reality show you can do whatever you want but until you see yourself on the actual tv i think nothing is confirmed okay and i think all of this was kind of like Naomi do, being like, okay, what do I need to do to get back into this show? Let me be on my knees for Craig, you know? And Craig was like, okay, nice, but you know what, girl? I actually don't have anything to do with this, and I have now my girl Paige, so bye. So she was like, hmm, who could I sleep with to get back into this show? And there you have it. Of course, Mr. Whitney and uh, complicated last name. What is his last name actually? Whitney, Whitney Sadler Smith. So Mr. Whitney Sadler Smith, and there you have it. Now she is magically back on the show. I mean, I quite find it interesting that they will show this. I think it's one of those things that it's better to show it than to hide it. Anyways. I mean, Whitney can do whatever the fuck he wants. I mean, she can do whatever the fuck she wants. It's just like, morally, I don't think it will be um, good, right? Like, so in order to get into the show, you will have to sleep with the producer. You will have to sleep with the whole cast so you can have a storyline or create a storyline or whatever. You know what I mean? I mean... Kudos for Naomi, because at the end of the day, it really works out, you know? I mean, she was back into the show. Is it the right way to be back? I have no idea. Either. It really depends on your moral compass. What do you prefer? Money, coins, and fame, or jobless in Charleston? So, I don't know. I'm clearly don't know so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole mess now that naomi is confirming the hookup not only with craig but with whitney now i remember that blind item was a like allegedly saying or alluding to like a threesome but we don't know if that happened or not what do you guys think there was a threesome between whitney craig and naomi whitney naomi and someone else i don't know i don't know let me know and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye